Hi H and Diane. This is how I have been taught by my chiropractor who also holds a doctorate in physical therapy and the active release technique guy how to keep my lower lumbar healthy and also to work on the piriformis which causes a lot of the sciatic problem which is coming from the sacroiliac on the right where I have a bulging disc between the fourth and fifth L lumbar. So I'm going to show you these three moves and then later on I'll do another video showing you kind of an idea or a concept of what active release technique looks like. So the first thing you do and you do this every day at least twice a day is called the low crawl and it helps you to simulate the same effect that you get from those chair, those uh, big chairs or swings that go upside down and hang you from your ankles. This is the same way of doing that except without having to buy that contraption and it's, you can do it on your own and it's for free. So you get down into a low crawl position like this and then you just pull yourself forward leaving the lower half of your body to pull against your weight and you hold it for about 15 to 30 seconds then you release and then you pull forward again and you can feel the vertebrae in your back expanding and that's the whole point of this. You do this a series of four to five times twice a day and you'll see a tremendous difference in your lumbar. The next one is the cobra. But what's different about this cobra in yoga is that you try and keep your hips on the ground and straightening, straightening your arms. So keep your hips on the ground and try and straighten your arms. You can't do it the first couple of times. Hold, then release. And then go back up and keep your hips. You have to really think about keeping your hips on your ground without with trying to keep your elbows straight. And it's almost impossible. But at some point, you'll be able to do it. The last thing, Diane, that you're going to want to do a lot because of your pure, your sciatic problem, which is the same thing I suffer from, is this stretch right here. This right here attacks the piriformis muscle, which is squeezing on your sciatic and causing that pain. Sometimes just this position itself will help, or sometimes you'll have to rotate it a little bit to the right to actually get that muscle to stretch and hold it. And do both sides, but really focus on the side, which is my right side. Focus on the side that's causing the sciatic pain. And you lift your other leg to get that in position. And sometimes you have to rotate just a little bit to get that piriformis muscle to stretch, which is the muscle causing all the issues. And that's it for now.